Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Star Citizen Arena Commander. I'm um, sorry about the abrupt start to this, I actually lost the audio for a bit and I don't know why that would have been. So I am playing as my favorite ship, the Aurora, or no, sorry, the 300i on Vandal Swarm again since I don't have access. I'm trying to record some of these ahead of time since, um, well, since I am going on vacation very, very soon. I hate how you start on the opposite end of these things. So, the reason I like this ship, it has goddamn tons of firepower, which is just all sorts of awesome. So I'm 800 meters away now, I can probably get to firing. So remember, I actually do have my gun set to fire both the, both the guns if I have my trigger pulled down all the way. I also like to keep track of my weapons on the screen, so let's go to here. As you can see, everything is at 100% cooled down right now. I think it would be awesome to be able to buy separate cooling systems for your guns. I, I, I think that'd be really cool, but maybe they take more power if you get the, the new cooling systems. Oh, stern shielding's at half already. I need to get the hell out of here. Allow me to pull evasive maneuvers. Remember, I also have this key now assigned to my drift, so I can actually turn around and drift and kill whoever is trying to face me down at the moment, who is this guy right here. And I can always turn off the drift to actually chase him, which I'm going to do, because I'm a dick that way. So I actually want to fire a missile at this guy and just get him out of the way. That should do the trick. And indeed, he is dead, and this guy is the second closest to us, and he seems to be after us as well, so probably a good thing to... Oh, man. I am on a roll right now. Two out of three already dead in that little quick amount of time. Pretty sure that last guy was the guy who I'd actually focused most of my efforts on before. I'm actually getting slightly better at flying this. I know I said I wanted to change my control so that it wasn't like this, and then I just kind of did a full reversal on that, but after I got used to these controls, I figured out why they're better and why they're kind of used in real ships. Ooh! Took a hit there, but fortunately my shield seemed to have absorbed it. All my weapons are fine, and my missiles are still intact. I have three remaining. Although I gotta say, their current method of missile indication is a bit hard to read. It's that little symbol that is under the spinning missiles at four there. You see, one has two, one has one, so I have three missiles left. So, is this a seriously wave of one, or did it just tell me in two segments how many people there were? Okay, it's a wave of three. It seemed like there was only one thing involved in that, though. Let me boost into combat. Boost in around at the speed of sound. Oh god, this um spray seems like something I do not want to be involved in right now. And see how much easier that is to fire when both your fires are assigned to one button? It's The only reason I can do that with my current um, setup is because I have a double layered trigger. And um, really you're only allowed to assign one command to each button. But my trigger counts as two buttons, so... Like I have the regular trigger and then I, it clicks a second time. I'm pretty sure on a real plane that has to do with like machine gun slash cannon fire. So you'll have the machine gun, which starts firing when you pull the trigger lightly, and the cannon will start firing once you fully pull the trigger. And I'm pretty sure that's how that works, so remember what Trent said. Slow down whenever you have to target. Oh, 500 damage. Those, um, those cannons are so goddamn strong. To be honest, I kind of have it reversed in this situation, though, because I fire the cannons when I pull the trigger lightly, and I fire the, um the machine gun when I hold down the cannon, or hold down the trigger all the way. A bit reversed there, I know I might sound a bit quiet, a bit restrained compared to normal, that's because Despic is actually sleeping in the next room, and he has quite the ride. Ooh, little king already, and I've only used one missile, so I'm pretty excited about how things are going so far. Remember though, this in this space sim, you can die real goddamn quick. Come on, just die. Oh, yeah! I am the champion. I was kind of just a joust, though. I left it all up to chance. If those were real players, I would have been so dead. And just look at these hits. And did I... Oh, incoming missile. Oh, and I actually did take a hit there. Um, it doesn't look like anything was too damaged, though. It didn't say missile evaded, though, so I'm kind of... 
Ooh, okay, okay, now I'm in trouble, now I'm in trouble. Stop drifting, boost, get behind something. Okay, there goes one of my cannons. I'm trying to get away from them. I'm pretty sure the little king's after me right now. I'm in a rough spot. I do still seem to have my engines, though. Shields are now charging up. This is what I get for focusing on the scavenger. One of my missile launchers is down. It only wasted one missile, fortunately, because they shot down my missile launcher that I had already used. And now I really have to take out this scavenger. Okay, that is not a gap. You are not a gap. Oh! And I missed the incoming missile alert. I kind of wish that was bigger or louder. Like, all the other sound effects are the right volume, but I need the missile alert to be like, Missile alert! I need it to tell me when there's a missile alert. Or else I wouldn't have wasted that life. So the Little King is still alive. Um, who's the closest to me? 2,100, 2,400. 2,100 here is the one I want to go for. And I think I don't want to use a missile on it. I know that sounds like a real bad idea, but I think that is my best option. And look at that, I was entirely correct there. Had to uh, kind of juke to avoid that guy. Or jeek, deek as we say in Canada. And believe me, we do say deek in Canada. It's, uh, it's actually a specifically hockey related term. Or it used to be, but in my generation we used it to refer to pretty much anything. And for those of you who don't know, to deke is to, um, I think I've already gone over this in an episode of this, actually. So, oh, is that everybody? That seems to be everybody. Do I get new wave? Do I get new wave music? Yep. Let me even out here a bit. And avoid crashing into this giant pillar. Oh, man, sometimes three dimensions confuse me. I can only think in two dimensions. The third dimension's just too hard. Look at how strong this ship's cannons are. Like, I only took three or four shots of that guy, but I guess they were accurate shots. Is supposed to be the trade-off? Doesn't seem like much of a trade-off, though. This is why when I was looking at all the weapon descriptions when I first was fantasizing about how great this game would be, which it did turn out great, so shut up. That's why I was like, I'm all for, like, the heavy, powerful cannons that I only needed to get, like, one or two good shots off. Seems like so far, that judgment was indeed correct. Let me, um, change my HUD again to the weapons. I do like to be able to see those cooldowns. Come on, scavenger. I think next time a special guy shows up, I'm just going to target him with a missile immediately. Oh, there we go. Got him. And this last scavenger was really occupied with my partners, so I could use a missile, but I'd rather save all four if I do say so myself. Where, am, where are my missiles? They're not on my menu. Which is kind of strange if you ask me. So I have to remember that I can actually do that little um, trick with the engines now to turn around in very quick, in a very timely fashion. I think when the reticle is actually a green circle, it means that one of your weapons will hit, but the other won't. I'm not entirely certain about that, though. Come on. And I've actually taken Trent's advice here. I'm going much slower than I normally would because I'm trying to track this guy down and not necessarily get away from a missile or something. Although, it's quite possible that... Yeah, damage. Oh, collision. Okay, so I didn't actually get hit there. It's a good thing. All my weapons are at 100%. Am I on the right menu, even? It seems like they're not... Yeah, they're going down. Look at how quickly those cannons go down. Like, 20% at once. It's as fast as the goddamn Aurora cannons. And dead. You've been deaded, motherfucker. Where are my missiles? Oh, there they are. I actually had to activate them. By pressing the missile button. I actually have two missile buttons now. I could not my, manage to assign both the prime missile and the fire missile to one button. Did I turn off my... No, okay. Seemed like I was drifting an inordinate, inordinate amount there. It seems like I can't talk worth shit either, so that's always a good thing, I guess. Or a real bad thing, depending on if you want to think of it clearly or not. Not or clearly, if I was going to say those in the... Ah, stern shielding down. Who's after me right now? 
Well, you're close to me at least. But I don't think you're the one who's actually after me right now. I really don't like that my stern shielding is down. Let's cut the engines and um, then boost the engines and boost away and hopefully somebody will... Uh, collision alert. I'm just trying to get away from all these assholes shooting at me right now. Where's my teammates? Where are my teammates? Yeah, where are my teammates? And I didn't even manage to kill you. Come on. 400 damage. Oh, that was some space debris I was shooting at there. Every once in a while, I see a ship, a ship that I can shoot at without having it targeted. So I'll just take the shot, generally. There we go. Killed the scavenger. Probably want to focus on the hunter right away. Here he is. Because I'm pretty sure he is the one giving me a hard time. Yes, indeed, he is. And I know I have stronger weapons than he has. So that was probably what what am I what am I close to? What am I close to, lady? Tell me. Or at least give me a direction in which I'm close to things. Oh boy. Okay. Well that time I know what I was close to. Tiny bit ridiculously close to the scavenger. You are very, very much dead, I think. Five hundred damage, come on. Just do a bit more. Yes. And one more scavenger left. And he's at 400 meters, so I can probably kill him rather easily if I throttle down a bit here. I know I kind of adjust my throttle like a madman in this game. Now that you guys can see my my controls, I'm all self-conscious about it. I hope you guys uh, like the hand control thing, because I'm really not giving myself time to get feedback on it. I... Damn, that's one of my cannons there, too. I wish I could repair it, but every time it says standby for repairs, that's the thing I hate about this map. It's so dark I can't see the asteroids. If I had better, um, better lights, that wouldn't be a problem. But the other problem is I've actually died one time here too. Ooh, let me um, rotate a bit here and get maybe closer into the center of this battlefield. Here we go, and I'm on wave six, 12 minutes in. I'm getting faster at this. The priest has joined. I want to focus on the priest right away. Arm my missiles. And, oh. Come on. And I think I got him. He does have chaff, though, so he could very well get away from this missile. He can't get away from lots of missiles in a row, but he could get away from this one. Okay, got him. Yes! Okay, some of my shielding's down. I have to figure out who's after me now. I wish there was like a target the person shooting at me button. It would probably be the um, target nearest button, but I currently don't have that mapped because I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, that's the priest? I thought I killed the priest. What's wrong with me? Where are you? Oh shit, you're at 500 meters. What happened to my missiles? Stern shielding's depleted. Did I somehow manage to target somebody else in the middle of that? Oh! Okay, I think I actually just killed him through collision there. Sorry about the moment of silence, I couldn't tell what was going on for a bit. Is Vandal Prime down at least? The priest? Oh, the priest is still the only one who's up. Shut up, Origin. You're pissing me off right now. By the way, when I do this at the beginning of a round, it's actually because I think it resets your throttle to nothing at the beginning, so you don't just fucking die instantly. Okay, so now I cut my thrust, turn to face him, and fire everything I've got. He seems very damaged, at least. Oh! Wow! I just died in a spectacular fashion. Oh, sorry that was shorter than I expected. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!